Are you struggling to keep your business organized? Well, in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a platform called Airtable. It's not a new uh, platform, but I actually started loving it even more in conjunction with high level. So a lot of times I talk to my clients and they want to do some additional customizations within their high level that is not exactly how they want it. You can do a lot of things. You can do pretty much almost everything in a high level. And you can still actually probably do a lot of the things that they're wanting to customize, but it may involve increasing the, the level of the high level plan that you, you want. For instance, I have a few clients who've been wanting to use the custom objects where you can have additional um, contacts or properties or different uh, scenarios where you want to attach different companies or spouses to a contact. Well, you can't do that unless you upgrade to the 497 level. Now with Airtable, you have a lot more flexibility and it's not a replacement for a high level. What I'm saying is I'm using in conjunction the two platforms together. I know it's another subscription, but I'm going to tell you the level that Airtable has been able to help me and my clients be organized on an operational level has been a game changer. If you're talking about KPIs that you want to track uh, in conjunction with your leads, your sales, a lot of those things you can still do in high level, but the reporting is just not as flexible as it is in Airtable. You can make a, amazing dashboards and interfaces and I'll talk to you about what those are and bases and things like that and how to set it up. I'm actually going to be creating a Airtable basics course and you can find that probably in the description or when it's ready in the description of this video. But I'm super excited to just to share with you the possibilities and how Airtable um, can help you in conjunction with high level. So using them together, um, again, I always like to tell people it's not a replacement for each other. You definitely won't still want to use high level and that's going to be the system that you use for your communication with your clients, your prospects, your funnels, your, there's still a lot of things that you, you, you're replacing a lot of other, other softwares that you're not going to need. But if you implement Airtable and integrate the two, again, you have a lot more flexibility. Um, you can track your leads, you can track your KPIs, you can have a more visual way of filtering out your hot list for your sales and keeping track of your whole entire team. And in an operational level, your whole entire business from your income and all, all the things. So I'm super excited in this video. I want to just share with you actually um, how Airtable works and what the prices are, what, what are some of the features and how to use it. So Airtable is like, I always tell people it's like a fancy spreadsheet. So it's, it's way better than Excel or Google Sheets. And again, a lot of flexibility and visualization. And if you like colors like me, if, if you're creative, you can have certain things be certain colors and really think of it more of a project management. And like I keep saying, operational um, project management tool. High level doesn't really have a project management. They have, you know, a sales pipeline for you to track your sales and go through different stages. But really, you're going to want a robust project management tool, uh, be able to link records and things like that. Let's talk about prices. So you can find my affiliate link below, a referral link below this video as well. Uh, you could start off with the free version, then you're going to want to upgrade to the to the team version. And you don't necessarily need the business version if you, unless you're really going to start um, doing some things where you're maybe syncing different um, bases and workspaces or things. I, I haven't really seen a need unless you're doing a really big volume. Um, you may need the business uh, version here, but it is 45 per seat. And this is where I got complicated for me too. There is, um, it's twenty dollars per seat here, and then so if you add your team members, you you know want to account for that as well too. 
and if you can have different types of team members that will include like free versions if they're just like read only um but just be careful how many people you add because uh i got into trouble with that too like adding way too many people and maybe not everyone needs to be in there in the air table as a creator or editor um so you can just want to limit the amount of people that you have in there because it's going to add up to even more and more than that so if you don't mind like myself you could just have your assistant log in to with your login if you don't need to have additional seats the workspace is these sections here where you can have multiple bases each one of these are bases and or base inside of the base it has several tables that you can have so you can just think of that if you if you're used to thinking of it as like Google Sheets it's basically uh, the base is the sheets and the uh, workspace is the actual like you can have like a free plan here and then I have a paid plan below that can house more um, data so you have a workspace and then in that workspace um, you'll just want to click on create and then you can um, start creating a base. I'm gonna go into my workspace here. I'm gonna click create. You can, um, it says build an app, which with AI, which they have a new feature. And if you answer some questions, it'll help you walk you through like um, setting up like a template. But I usually just start from scratch and we can show you how it works. So it automatically basically pulled, like I said, fancy Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> and this is the table here, and then you have a base. And then the cool thing is you can also, you know, rename this space. So business template or your company name. Um, and then you can change the colors over here if you wanted a certain color. I don't like this purple. Gold, purple highlight the pink and you can also actually put in an icon which makes it kind of cool too on the top here you make them different there we go so on the left hand side is different views so right now we're on a grid right the regular grid view but you can actually have um, duplicate this and you can actually create different types of views. And this is what I really love about Airtable is that you can have all of the data you ha want in here, but then s filter out different views of how you want to see your data. And then you can also, actually let me go down here, the bottom. So right now we're in the regular grid view, which is the first one here, but you have different views that you can look at your contact, like our your information, your data, uh, inside of a calendar you can create a different view with a calendar setting and you can use this for like content um, like you know setting up your content and things like that uh, content calendar I mean um, and you can have a gallery view if you want to like maybe have a database of all your clients and their pictures you can have a gallery you can also you do Kanban which is kind of like Trello so if you've ever used Trello before you could also create like a Trello board situation um, I, in one of my bases like I have uh, a board where I can um, I use this Kanban feature to filter out or schedule like my my different um, YouTube videos here so you can move them into like different statuses maybe from idea to filming to thumbnail needs to be created something like that um, and then you have uh, some of these other ones I don't really use Ma mainly I'm just using the grid one and maybe possibly the Kanban but you can have a timeline list let's make another one here so you can see it timeline and then you just pick the project maybe that you're doing and you can do that I don't ever really use this one lists gaunt style again mainly think project management right so I'm going to delete these here but again what I love about this is that you can have different grid uh, views and you can hide certain features so I had a client today that wanted to maybe hide the name so you could actually 
hide the name or hide um, different notes here. Maybe you only want to see everything but this one field. Then you can come here and click hide. And then you can have a different view, which is still there, but have a view with everything showing, you know. Show all. So different views. I have, for instance, um, for payments, like I have all the payments in one view. I have past due payments in another one. I have um, any refunds, different things like that. So it, there's so many things that you could do with having this grid view here uh, or different, different types of views. You also have forms. You can create a form. This is actually new. They used to have it down here. This is the older version um, and so I still use this too but if you click on oh it must have updated on this one so it's up here forms or down here and what you can do is like I created an onboarding form and then you can create a form after say you have a new client so my onboarding form is I create this this form in here and move in any fields that I need or fields that I they don't need to see all of the fields I can just put the fields that I want and move them and add add them into this form and cl click publish form I could add another um, let's see oh also and then I want to switch it to anyone on the web so anyone on the web can get this form they could fill it out and it updates my base right my table with all with the information that I need I could have a, um, a section to ask for their photo and then we can upload their photo to their like social proof and like share that on social media. So you can do a lot of things with the form situation. Let me go back. What happened? Back to the base. Okay. I'm like just looking at my list. So you can also, instead of just sending them the link, you could actually embed that as well too so let me go back here and try that you can go anyone on the web you could also add a password if you're um you know worried about that and then you can either copy the link and send it to them like i just showed you or click on the embed and grab the link here and then embed that into high level so another thing so in this speaking of high level you could still you know again you don't have to use Airtable's forms. High Level has a form, but you could also, in this situation now, how the two gets connected together is I can use my High Level forms to collect data for, of the customer or maybe even in, um, any of my funnels and things like that. And then I use Zapier to zap that information from High Level. Maybe um, I have a funnel, a lead, lead funnel that I actually am creating right now. I'm going to connect a webhook automation in high level to sync that information in Airtable. So it might at first sound like, well, why are you double doubling up? Like you have um, double information, one information over in high level and some information over here in Airtable. Well, again, I want them in both places because I want to be able to like have it in air in high level and communicate with the customer. But on a bigger vision and overview of my business, I'm going to be able to select have all the leads come into here. I can calculate KPIs of how many leads every single day, every single month and filter out the reporting is just not not it over in high level yet. You know, it's not an easier way to do it right now. They do have some KPI and reporting, but here you have, uh, I mean, the bigger vision here is the, the filtering and the processes and the way that you can look at it and collect data on a monthly, weekly basis, as well as the interfaces. You, I'm kind of going ahead of myself with the interfaces. With the in interfaces, you can really create this really amazing performance um, uh, like charts and things that show how many Facebook leads you got how many uh, leads came from YouTube how many um, you know whatever data you want to track you can actually create a beautiful dashboard that will be synced from high level and Airtable and then let me go to the next thing on my notes here so you get forms 
you got the data views, you got the workspace versus bases, and now galleries. I mean, I kind of showed you the um, galleries and interfaces. That's where we're at right now. So yes, we're on the, on the right track. So interfaces are just an amazing way for you to be able to also present to your clients, if you're an agency owner, things that are going on in real time as well too, as long as you have everything synced together. The galleries also have a great way for you to be able to show like your entire client roster or, or maybe your staff members and c keeping again operationally who's on the team. You can uh, use the gallery to, to collect data like that as well too and have a different table. Like you can have several tables. So this is just one table. You can have another table that you create that has um, your staff members, right? Another table that has all your clients in, in that information. Um, for instance, um, I'm working with a um, adult home care business, right? So we're doing um, all the patients in one section and all of the caregivers in one section and linking them together. So in, in, my, in the coaching space, um, I have all the clients in one in area and then um, I have data on all of our payments and such. Um, for who what was another uh, real estate I have all the real estate agents here and properties in another tab and then any uh, referrals that come you know referral partners are attached to each other too so um, there's automations also in here so what you can do a lot of things that uh, I do in Airtable in these views I can ha set certain parameters. So if a new record is created, I want it to maybe send me a Slack message. Or if a certain record is updated with a certain amount, I want a certain status to be updated. So there's a lot of automations also that you can be can be done in Airtable internally. And there's so much more. So I actually am wanting to create a basics Airtable course here. Um, if you're interested, you want to make sure to keep following, make sure to like and subscribe, comment below if Airtable, if you are interested in the Airtable basics course, um, if you're looking to systematize and optimize your business with Airtable and go high level and you want my ultimate tech stack, don't miss out. Okay. So make sure to comment below and we'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.